He's in the house. The old famous, all the way from Jaden, Canada. I give you the one and only Coco Jaden Boy Crow. I took you to the Coco Show, the entertaining Coco Show. Presented by Coco. Hey everyone, Shadow Boy Twall here. Today I want to talk about something that really is very disgusting. I, I think in my mind this is really disgusting. Um, how jobs are doing this to you. And I'm not talking about my current job, no. no don't, don't think that. The thing is, over the past few weeks I had to find a new job. I'm not going to get into details because it's not something I want to post on YouTube. But just to clear your guys' minds, I didn't get fired, I didn't quit, nothing like that. It's just a long story I, that I just don't want to post on YouTube. But the good news out of it is just because I applied at four jobs, three in my town and one online. And what I found very fascinating or interesting into this position for online it's just basically it was a home agent position so basically it was a position where you work for a company but they quoted as a self-contractor so basically you're working for yourself but you're working for them as well because you're getting paid by an hour by them and you're just working for yourself by maybe making incentives uh, making sales just basically for that for that company or the client that they have well you know, I'm just gonna make this sh uh, story short. The company that I applied for, I actually, I actually completed and passed the voice assessment, and that's just basically a voice interview or something like that. I passed it. And the next step was a criminal background check, and you know, I understand that. You know, everyone needs to go through a background check, somewhat of a job. But the thing that really disgusts me at this point, because this is really something that I never thought of a company would ever do, but they charged $29.99 for this background check. $29.99, that's $30 for a piece of paper that says, I have no criminal record. That is ridiculous. The thing is, if it, wasn't, if it was only that, I wouldn't have a problem with that. But the thing is, they tell you to print this form or whatever they actually have send it to your email you have to go to a post office to have this somewhat scanned and to be sent to them or something like that because they have a code where uh, they're gonna need some identification so basically myself I don't have much uh, identification I don't have uh, a driver's license I only have a health card and as a photo ID, that's my only health photo ID. Okay? And for birth certificate, I have that. So that's the one thing that they are required to have and a photo ID. But they don't really consider a health card as a photo ID, which I really don't understand either. You know, it's a photo of you. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly, I'm not going to let someone take my health card and pretend it's me. That would be a major problem there. But that's how it works so now I have to work for the past two days now I'll be working from Monday to Wednesday okay trying to get all my proper information so I'm gonna have to get myself a driver's license a G1 for absolutely nothing but for this job okay if not I have to get an age majority card which takes even longer you have to send thirty dollars and probably that's probably gonna be the less expensive way than getting a driver's license and to be honest uh, I'd rather not spend my time spending hundred twenty five dollars which is this what I heard on something where I'm only gonna need it for the card you know like that's ridiculous I mean uh, I know I understand that you have some strict rules but when most people don't have any photo ID except the health card work with them I mean they're willing to work I mean isn't that enough I mean and then they wonder why most people are on social assistance welfare. You know, it's understandable. 
You know, there's no jobs that are willing to take them in, to teach them, to train them. You know, the thing is, the place I work, I love it. I love it so much that they're, they took this young kid, and you know, for me, I call myself young. I was 23 years old just last year. And they trained me, and I understood my job under 11 months of working there. And that's incredible, right? But yet, some companies, they require some some criminal background check, which my work did. They did it for 28 bucks, and I, I understand that. But that was only a one-time thing, and they didn't require a driver's license to, to do this. I mean, understand at some point where you need some clarification, but uh, a driver's license, a photo ID, well, why don't you look at my health card? I mean, no one's going to take my health card number or something like that, right? So this is just my little rant on what I think about home agent positions. You know, and you got to watch out for those kind of things because, you know, I probably just wasted $30 out of my own money for something that I'm probably not going to get a job for. Okay, and this is why I wanted to clarify with the company before I actually did anything more than what I will do now, because just in case if I just had everything set up, I got my own phone line, my internet, and the next minute I'm not having the position. You know, like I wanted to clarify that with the company, and I emailed them several times. So that's the thing about me is I don't pronounce or I just don't announce the company's name that I'm ranting about into this video because I really don't want them to to look at me and say, you know, this guy is just insulting us because I'm not. I'm not here to insult them. I'm just here to clarify that this is like disgusting and charging people money and then they have to put more money into getting a headset. They have to get a, a internet provider, a phone, phone line that they are required because my phone line, they don't accept that. Like, okay, I understand that, but you know, Work with someone. Work with the person that wants to work. You know, if you're willing to work, come on, hire them. Bottom line. So this is just my little rant. Hope you guys all take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.